Round 82, we're using color G. We want to start in the chain two corner space before either of the long sides. In this corner, we will place a single crochet and a chain three. We're going to mark that chain three as our new corner space. And again, it is not symmetrical, so we won't put another stitch in the corner. So on round 80, so that's my matching pink round, we want to work a front post double crochet around this front loop treble. We'll chain five. And we'll do that twice more, front post double around the next treble of round 80, chain five. And one more time, front post double around this next treble, chain five. And we'll front post double around this next treble, chain two. We're going to make a front post double crochet three together. Around this, we're going to work around this treble, then around both of those chain sevens and around that next treble. So we yarn over once, insert around the back. So from the front around the back, back out to the front of the treble just before this flower detail. Work a front post double crochet but leaving two loops on the hook. We yarn over again, insert under this first chain seven and the next chain seven, yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull through two. So we have three loops on our hook, yarn over, insert around that next treble to pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through two, we have four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops for the front post, double crochet three together. Chain two. Okay, these chain two will pull a little bit here. It's going to help with our decreasing that we need to be making over the next little rounds. Then working around the next free front loop stitch, we're going to work a front post double crochet, chain five. We'll do that four times. Around the next front loop stitch, chain five. That's twice. three times that's four times and then we're going to work another front post double crochet three together around that last front loop stitch before the hanging flower, leaving two loops on hook, yarn over, insert hook under both of the chain sixes to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two for three loops on the hook, yarn over under that next front loop stitch to pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all four loops, chain five. And then we'll work three times with the front post double crochet, chain five. Work another front post double three together, chain five. And two times of the front post double crochet, chain five. So you can go ahead and work that now. Three times of the front post double, chain five. 
Front post double crochet, three together, chain five. Two times front post double, chain five. We'll place a front post double crochet around this last front loop stitch of round 80, chain two. We're going to work another spread popcorn, five single crochet. So we want to start in the single crochet before that double crochet of round 81. So single crochet in that single crochet, sorry, two single crochet in the single, one single in the double crochet, two single crochet in this next single, just past the double crochet chain one, then we'll remove the loop from our hook, insert in that first single crochet, put the loop back on the hook and pull through for our spread popcorn five single crochet. We have a closing chain to finish that stitch, and then we'll chain five. And we want to do that 15 times. So I'll do one more with you finding on round 81, skip that first single crochet. In the single crochet just before the double, we'll place two single crochet, one single crochet in the double, two single crochet in the next single, chain one, remove the loop from our hook, insert in that next or that first single crochet, pull the loop through, chain one to close then chain five. So we've done two repeats together. You want to work that 13 more times for a total of 15 times. So I've worked those 15 spread five single crochet popcorn with a chain five. After the 15th one, we want to make one more of the spread popcorn and then this time chain two. Then we're ready to work back down the second half of the side, similar to how we did the first. So we're going to work three sets of the front post double, chain five. So go ahead and do that now. Front post double, chain five, three times. Then we'll work that front post double crochet three together, starting around this next front loop stitch, partial double crochet. Partial double crochet, working under both of the chains. And one more partial double under that next front loop stitch. Pulling through all the loops. Chain five. And then we'll repeat that with the three front post double crochet, chain five, another front post double crochet, three together, chain five. Then we want to work another set of the front post double crochet, chain five. So three of those, one more front post double crochet, chain two, before working the next front post double crochet, three together. So we have the three front post double with a chain five after each, one more front post double with a chain two, a front post double, three together, followed by a chain two. Then three more times, we want to work that front post double crochet, chain five, with one more front post double crochet just before the corner. Front post double, chain five, three times, front post double. We're ready to work the next corner, which will be a chain three. And we'll place a marker on that chain three single crochet in that corner, chain two, space. Then we're ready to work down the short side. We'll start with a chain one, and then working in front of round 81, we're going to place a double crochet in that skipped stitch or the free single crochet of round 80.
chain five. Finding that next skip stitch, double crochet in there. Chain five. That's two repeats. We want to do that a total of eight times. So eight double crochet in the skip stitch, chain five. Then we'll double crochet in that next skipped stitch, and this time chain two. We'll do that one more time. Double crochet in that next skipped stitch, chain two. And then we're ready to work eight times again. Double crochet in the next skipped stitch, chain five. So you can work that seven more times. Double crochet in the next stitch, chain five, eight times. And then we need to make one last double crochet in that last skip stitch before the corner. Chain one. And we're ready to repeat again, starting with the corner, single crochet, chain three. Moving that marker to the chain three space, and then repeating everything down the long side and the short side again. So you can go ahead, work that all the way around, joining to our starting stitch and fastening off at the end of the round. Round 83 using color E. We want to start in the corner space before a long side. We will single crochet in that space, chain two. Again, we'll mark that chain two for the corner and we will not put a second stitch in the space. So working around round 81, that's my matching gray round, the last round of the previous part we will place a front post double crochet around that first front post treble. And then we want to work behind the stitch of last round into that chain one space of round 81, and we'll place a half double crochet in that chain one space. We'll place a front post double around each of these <clears throat> front post treble of round 81. So four times we'll do a front post double around the front post treble. And then half double crochet in that chain one space behind. And we'll repeat front post double around the four trebles half double crochet in that chain one space and one more time front post double around the front post trebles. Half double crochet in that chain one space. We're now going to be working a front post treble four together and we're going to be working around all of these eight stitches four in front of that three together and the four after the three together so we're going to yarn over twice we want to insert our hook from the front around the back of two of these trebles those first two trebles and then the hook comes back out to the front yarn over pull through 
yarn over, pull through two twice, leaving two loops on our hook. Yarn over twice again, insert from the front under both of the next two trebles, back out to the front, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two twice, three loops on our hook. Yarn over twice again. Then after that three together stitch, we want to place our hook from the front behind the back of those next two trebles. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. We have four loops on our hook. And one more time, yarn over two times. Hook goes around the back of those next two trebles. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two twice. We have five loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all five loops for that treble, front post treble, four together. Then we're ready to make a half double crochet in that chain one space behind the double of last round. And then we're ready to work again the front post double around each of these next four trebles with a half double crochet back in that chain one space. So we'll work that three times. So I've worked three groups of those front post double around the trebles with the half double crochet behind. We'll work one more set of front, bus front post double crochet around those four trebles. three and four. So then we've reached the next hanging flower. And we want to make a half double crochet in that chain space behind the hanging flower. Then we'll work three sets of those front post double crochet around each of the treble with a half double crochet in the chain one space behind plus one more set of the front post double. So the three sets of four front post double and a half double crochet plus one more set of the four front post double which brings us to the next hanging flower half double crochet in that chain space behind. Then we'll do three sets again of the four front post double with the half double crochet behind. So we'll do those three sets. Three sets of four front post double with the half double crochet behind. Which should bring us to our spread popcorn. <clears throat> so on round 82, so that's my pink round, the round we finished last time, or our previous round. We are going to single crochet in this chain two space just before the spread popcorn. Chain one. In this chain five space, we'll place two single crochet. And then we want to double crochet down in this chain one space that was made over top of that previous spread popcorn. So into the chain space of round 81, place a double crochet working in front of round 82, and then two more singles back in that same chain space. Chain one. And we want to do that 15 times. Two singles in the chain space, double crochet in the chain one down on round 81, working in front of 82. Two single crochet in that same chain space of round 82, chain one. So we've done two repeats. You want to do that a total of 15 times. You can work those down. Those 15 repeats 
After this last spread popcorn, we want to put a single crochet in that chain two space. Then we're ready to work down the second half of the side, similar to how we did the first. So we'll start with that half double crochet in the chain one space behind, and then those four front post double crochet, one around each of the four trebles. So that's one repeat. You want to do that two more times. After a spread popcorn in that single crochet, we should have a half double crochet behind, four front post double, and three sets of that. Which brings us to our first hanging flower. And we'll place that half double crochet in the chain one space behind the flower. Then we'll work the front post double around those four front post stitches, half double crochet in the chain one. We'll do that three times, plus an extra set of four front post doubles. Front post double, four front post double, and a half double crochet behind. Worked three times, four more front post double. We'll place a half double crochet in the space behind this next hanging back basket or hanging flower. Then we'll work those four front post stitches with the half double crochet behind. We'll work that four times. Four sets of the four front post double with a half double crochet behind. So we should be close to that next hanging flower. So we're going to work that front post treble four together again. So yarn over twice, insert around the back of these first two trebles to pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through two twice, and repeat, yarn over twice, and under those next two trebles to pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through two twice, yarn over twice again, skip the three together, hook under those next two trebles, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through two twice, and one more time, yarn over twice, and through those next two trebles, pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through two twice, yarn over, pull through all five loops on the hook for the front post treble four together. Then we want to place that half double crochet in the chain behind that next double or that next stitch there. Front post double around these next four stitches and we'll work that three times. That's once. and four, sorry, and three times, which brings us to this next corner. Chain two, move the marker to that new chain two, single crochet in that corner space. And that is our long side. So working down the short side, we'll single crochet in this first single crochet. And then we want to single crochet in the single crochet of round 81, but in closing that chain one from round 82 as well. Chain one. We'll single crochet in each of these next four stitches, again, working over or enclosing the chain of round 82. So it's two, three, and four single crochet. Chain one, we'll do that eight times. So we'll skip that double crochet, single crochet in those four singles. 
with a chain one after. So I've done that twice. You want to do that six more for eight times. So I've worked those eight repeats. Then we'll single crochet in these next to two single crochet. Chain one. We'll do that again. Single crochet in the two. Chain one. And then we're ready to work the eight repeats again of single crochet in those four stitches. Chain one. So I'll let you do those eight repeats. So the eight repeats of four single crochet, chain one. Skipping that double, we want to single crochet in this last single crochet before the corner, again, in closing the chain as well. And then single crochet in the single crochet of round 82. And then we've reached that corner space, so we're ready to start again in the corner with a single crochet, chain two, and then repeat all of this for this round around the second long and short sides. So you can go ahead, finish this round, joining to our starting stitch and fastening off at the end of the row. Round 84, we're going to use color B. We want to start in the corner chain two space before either of the long sides. So in that space, we will place a single crochet and chain two. That chain two then will be our new corner. So we're going to double crochet in this first front post stitch of round 83, but we also want our hook to go under the chain two of round 82. So double crochet in that first stitch. We're going to make a front post treble around this next front post stitch of round 82. Double crochet in the next four stitches. One, two. Now on this third stitch, we're going to insert in the top of the front post stitch. We also want our hook to go under the chain five of round 82. And double crochet in the top of that fourth stitch. So starting with that front post treble, those five stitches, we're going to re repeat two more times. Front post treble around the ne next front post stitch of round 82, double crochet in the next four stitches of round 83. Remembering on this third double crochet to also insert under the chain five of round 82. That's two repeats. And three repeats. We're going to work a front post treble three together. So yarn over twice. We want to insert around this next post stitch of round 82. Pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through two, leaving two loops on the hook. Yarn over twice, insert around the, the back of that four together stitch to pull up our loop. Yarn over, pull through two twice, three loops on our hook. Yarn over twice and again, insert behind the post stitch of round 82, pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through two, four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops for our front post treble three together. We'll double crochet in these next four stitches, again on that third stitch, 
making sure we work under the chain space as well. And then front post treble around this next post stitch around 82. So we'll do that three times. So three repeats of the double crochet in four on that third stitch, including the chain five in the stitch, front post treble around the next. So I did those three times. Then you want to do one more set of the four double crochet, remembering to enclose the chain on that third stitch. Then we're going to work a front post treble around this three together stitch on round 82. And then we want to repeat this part again, starting with those groups of four double crochet in the front post treble, ending with another front post treble around the three together stitch. So you can go ahead and repeat that here. So those three sets of four double crochet with the front post treble, again on that third double crochet, we included, included the chain from round 82. One more set of the four double crochet, and the front post treble around that three together stitch. Then we'll work two sets of the four double crochet with the front post treble, again on the third stitch, remembering to include the, the chain, plus one more set of the four double crochet here. So you can work that now. So the two sets of double crochet and front post treble plus one more set of four double crochet. And then around this last front post stitch of 82, we want to place a front post double crochet. We'll single crochet in this first single and single crochet in this chain one space that's above that spread popcorn. Single crochet in these next five stitches. Four and five. So starting with the single crochet in the chain one space and those five single crochet, we want to do that a total of 15 times. So I'll work that once more. Single crochet in the chain space single crochet in the next five stitches. So that's two repeats. You'll do that a total of 15 times. So I have my 15 repeats. Ready to work a single crochet in that last chain one space and in the single crochet. So ready to work down this last part of the side, we're starting with the front post double on that front post stitch, and then we'll work our repeats of the double crochet in four, remembering on the third stitch to include the chain, front post treble around the next post stitch. So we'll do that twice, plus one more set of four before working a front post treble around the three together stitch. And then we'll do three sets of the double crochet front post treble, plus another set of four double crochet, and the front post treble around the three together stitch. And then we'll do three more sets of the double crochet in the front post treble, and I'll meet you at that spot. So after we've done this last repeat three times, we want another group of four double crochet before this four together stitch, and then we'll work that treble three together stitch. Yarn over twice around that next post stitch of round 82. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over twice working around behind that four together stitch to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two twice, three loops on the hook, yarn over twice, 
around the next post stitch around 82, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two twice, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops for that front post treble three together. We'll double crochet in these next four stitches. Again, on that third double crochet, we'll insert under the chain to enclose that. Front post treble around the double around 82. So we'll repeat those five stitches twice more. So after our front post treble three together, we should have three sets of the four double crochet in front post treble. We want to double crochet in this last front post treble of round 83 and remembering to work our hook under that corner chain of round 82. Then we've reached the corner again where we'll work that chain two for the new corner, single crochet in the corner space to complete the long side. And we'll single crochet in these first three stitches on the short side. On round 82, we want to make a front post, sorry, front post single around that front post double crochet, single crochet in each of the four singles on round 83. We want to do those five stitches eight times. That's a front post single around the front post double of 82, single crochet in the four singles of 83. That's two repeats. You wanna do that six more times for eight repeats. So the eight sets of front post single and four single crochet. Then we'll work front post single around that next Front post double around 82, single crochet in the next two stitches of 83. Front post single, single crochet in two. And then we can work the eight sets of the front post single, single crochet in four. So you can go ahead and work those eight sets now. So those eight sets of front post single, four single crochet. We want to work one more front post single around that post stitch on round 82. Then single crochet in these last three stitches of the short side. And we've reached the corner again. We'll, we'll place that single crochet in the corner space, chain two and then ready to repeat down the next long side and finish off the next short side, joining to our starting stitch and fastening off at the end of the row. Round 85, we're going to use color H. I'm using a lighter color right now to show you some parts so you can see the stitches a bit clearly, and then I'll go back and I'll switch out for my darker color that I'm using. So using color H, we're gonna start in the corner before either of the long sides. In that corner space, we'll place a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. And you'll mark that corner space. chain one. We're going to skip this first stitch, make a back loop only single crochet in this front post treble. Chain two. 
then we'll skip two stitches. We want to single crochet in this next stitch. Now the next little bit, we're going to be making the body for the cat and using some Tunisian crochet technique for that. Tunisian can be a little bit tight of a style, so I'm going to switch to a size larger hook for this section. So we'll chain three, we'll skip that first chain, working on the back side, finding that back bump of the second chain from our hook, we'll insert the hook under that back bump, yarn over, pull the loop up. We have two loops on our hook, we're going to leave the loop on our hook. And then the next chain in the back bump, I insert my hook yarn over, pull the yarn through, so I have three loops on my hook. And then in the single crochet that we just made, I'm turning to the back, so that back post leg, insert my hook under that, yarn over, pull up a loop. We have four loops on our hook. Then I'm gonna insert in the same stitch as we made the single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop. We have five loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops four times. That's once, twice, three times, and four times. Then we'll chain two. And again, we'll skip that first chain and looking at the back side of the chain, we can see this is the back bump of that chain. Insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Two loops on the hook. Then working down these stitches that we had just picked up in this little back bump here. So here's the loops we took off. We can see this loop across the back, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. We'll do that three times in the next stitch and this next stitch. So I have five loops on my hook. Then in the stitch that we made down here in the back, yarn over, pull up a loop. And one more time in the same stitch the double crochet of round 84 where we already have two stitches insert yarn over pull up a loop seven loops on our hook yarn over pull through two loops six times one two three four five and six and again we'll chain two Working in the back, skip the first chain in the back bump of that next chain, insert, yarn over, pull the loop through, two loops on our hook. Then working in these back bumps of each of these next stitches, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop. I have seven loops on my on my hook at this point. On the back of the stitch that was made in the double crochet, insert, pull up a loop. And then one more time in the same double crochet, insert, pull up a loop. We should have nine loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops eight times. Once, twice, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to make an ear, so we'll chain seven. One, two, six, and seven chains. Again, turning to the back, we'll skip the first two chains. We'll slip stitch in this back bump of the third chain. Then we're going to yarn over and we want to come down and this loop here, insert and in a loop on the side. And pull up a loop, we'll make a double crochet and one more double crochet in that same spot. We actually want to place one more double crochet. So there's three double crochet in those loops of the top stitch. Now for the second ear, we'll chain three. Skip those first two chains in the back bump of the third chain. We want to slip stitch. chain three and we want to slip stitch in these same two loops where we made those three double crochet and that should finish the head of our cat then working down the body here We'll chain two, we're going to skip the two back bumps of the chain and also the first two back bumps working down the body <clears throat> and then single crochet in six. So with each of these back bumps of these stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and the six is in the back of the stitch that's made in the double crochet of round 84. So six, single crochet single crochet in the same double crochet of round 84 now I want to switch back to my other hook we'll make the tail chain 15 one two you want these chains to be a bit loose fourteen and fifteen chains turning to the back we'll skip the first two back bumps slip stitch in the next 14. One, two,
So that's 12, the 13th one, and then the 14th one is in that back of the single crochet made into the double crochet. 14 slip stitches, single crochet in that same double crochet of round 84. And that's our first kitty cat. We'll chain one, we'll skip this next stitch back loop only single in the next stitch, which should be that front post treble. Chain four, skip four, back loop only single in that next front post treble. Chain four again, skip four stitches, and then we want to back loop only single in this front post treble three together. Oops, this loop had stretched. Chain four, skip four, back loop only single in that front post treble. Chain four, skip four, back loop only single in that next front post treble. Chain two, skip two. So we'll skip two stitches and then we're going to make a smaller kitten. So we'll single crochet in that next stitch. We'll start with the tail this time, chain 10, and again, not too tight. nine and ten. We'll skip those first two back bumps. We want to slip stitch in the next nine. So one, two, That's eight slip stitches and ninth is in the back of that single crochet made into the double crochet. Nine slip stitches for our tail. And then we'll single crochet in that same double crochet. Okay, and then we're going to be working a bit of Tunisian stitches. Again, if you find it tight, you can switch hooks. I think I'm going to keep the same one on this one. We'll chain two. And then we want to pull up our loops, turn to the back side, insert under. So we skip the first chain, insert in the back bump of the second chain to yarn over and pull up a loop. And then in the back of that single crochet we just made in the double, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop. And then in the same double crochet of round 84, pull up a loop. So we should have four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two loops three times. Chain two.
So skip the first chain. In the back bump of the second chain, we'll insert and pull up a loop. Then in the back of these stitches, And then in the back of the stitch we made in the double crochet, and then insert in that double crochet again to pull up another loop. We should have six loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops five times. Two, three, four, and five. We'll work on the first ear, we'll chain six. We'll skip the first two chains, slip stitch in the back bump of the third chain. And then we're going to make two double crochet into this top and side loop at the top of the body where we made the chain. We'll make two double crochet in there. One. Two. Then we'll work the second ear, chain three. Skip the first two chains, slip stitch in the back bump of the third chain. Chain two, slip stitch in these same two loops where we made those two double crochet. Chain one, we'll skip that chain and the first back bump on the body, single crochet in four. So with that second stitch of the body, the back loop or bump, single crochet. That's one, two, three and the fourth one is the back of that stitch in the double crochet for four single crochet and then slip stitch in this same double crochet oops chain one so we made a larger cat to start the side, a smaller kitten here. We'll skip one stitch, back loop only, single crochet in that front post treble. Chain four. Skip four stitches and repeat back loop only, single crochet in the front post treble. chain four, skip four, pack loop only single in this next front post treble, chain two, and skip two stitches. We'll single crochet in this next double crochet and we're going to make one more kitten now. So we're starting with the body of this one. We'll chain two, skip the first chain. We'll pull up a loop in the back bump of the second chain and in the back loop of that single crochet and in the double crochet. So we'll have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, three times. 
chain two, skip the first chain, pull up a loop in the back bump of the second chain, and in the next three stitches, so that back loop, we insert, pull up a loop, and in the back of the stitch made in the double crochet, and then insert in the double crochet, pull up another loop. We should have six loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, five times. Now we'll work the first ear, so we chain six, five and six, skip the first two back bumps, slip stitch in the back bump of that third chain, and then we want to make two double crochet in the top and the side loop at the top of the body of this kitten. Two double crochet. Chain three to make the second ear. Skip the first two chains, slip stitch in that back bump of the third chain. Chain two. Slip stitch in those same two loops where we made the two double crochet. That finishes the head. Chain one. We'll skip the chain and the first loop of the body and then single crochet in four. One. two, three, and then in the back of the stitch made in the double crochet, we'll make a fourth single crochet and single crochet in the double crochet. Then we'll make the tail, so we chain 10, Skip the first two back bumps, slip stitch in nine. One, two. That's eight, and then in the back loop of the stitch in the double crochet will be our ninth slip stitch. And slip stitch in that same stitch for the same double crochet. So we've made one cat and two kittens. Chain one, skip one, back loop only, single crochet in that front post treble. Chain one, skip the next double crochet. We're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. Chain three, skip the next three. So skip the next three stitches and repeat with that two half double crochet
chain three, skip three. So we've done that twice. You wanna do that a total of five times. Two half double crochet, chain three, skip three, five times. So remember we're skipping three here, which should take us to the single crochet that's in the chain one above that first spread popcorn. Then we'll single crochet in two. Chain four, skip four, single crochet in two, chain four, skip four. We've done that twice. We want to do that a total of 15 times. Two single crochet, chain four, skip four 15 times. Then we'll need to add single crochet in two after that final skip four. So those two single crochets start in the single crochet made in the chain one above that last spread popcorn. We'll chain two, skip two stitches. And then we'll work five times that half double crochet in two stitches, chain three, skip three. We'll do that four times. Half double crochet in two, chain three, skip three. three times four times and then half double crochet in two stitches oops this one here chain one and we'll skip that next stitch back loop only in this front post treble, chain two, skip two. Then we're going to come back and work kitten one and kitten two. So starting with kitten one here. So we've skipped the two, we want to single crochet in that next a double. Chain 10, okay, and then you can repeat the rest of kitten one, those stitches in between, and then do kitten two as we did previously, and I'll meet you at that spot. So I've worked kitten one, the stitches in between, and kitten two. Then we'll chain one. We want to skip this next stitch. Back loop only, single crochet in the front post treble. Chain four. Skip four and repeat to back loop only, single crochet in the front loop treble or the front post treble chain four, skip four. Then we want to do back loop single crochet in the three together stitch, chain four, skip four, back loop only single in that front post treble, chain four, skip four, Back loop only single in that next front post treble, chain two, skip two. And then we're ready to work the second cat. So we've skipped two, we want to single crochet in this next double. 
We're going to start with the tail, so we chain 15. Fourteen and fifteen chains. We'll skip the first two chains and in that third chain on the back bump we'll slip stitch. We want to make fourteen slip stitches. So I have two, three, So in the last chain is my 13th slip stitch, and then in the back of the single crochet made in the double is my 14th slip stitch for the tail. Single crochet in the same double. Chain three, skip the first chain, in the second back bump, I'll insert, pull up a loop, and in the third chain, and in the back of that single crochet, and insert in the double crochet to pull up a loop. You have five loops on your hook. Okay, so I've switched to my larger hook, mostly because it has a nice um, point on it for picking up these loops. So we'll chain two, skip the first, chain and then working in the second the back bump we'll insert and pull up a loop we want to do that five times it's twice three oops i split the yarn four and then in the back of the stitch in the double crochet for five and then insert in the double crochet for six, so we've picked up six loops with the one that was on our hook. We have seven loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, six times. Four, five, and six. Chain two, skip the first chain, starting with the back bump of the next chain, we're going to pick up a loop seven times. Two, Three, four, five, six, the seventh is the back of the stitch in the double crochet and insert in the double crochet to pick up a loop as well. We should have nine loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops eight times. That's five six, seven, and eight. So for the first ear, we'll chain seven. Skip the first two chains in the back bump of the third chain, we will slip stitch. And then we'll come down and make three double crochet in the top and side loop of the top of the body. So three double crochet in those two loops. That's one, two, and three. Now for the second ear, chain three, Skip the first two, slip stitch in that back bump of the third chain, chain two, and come down and slip stitch in those same two loops where we made the three double crochet. Chain two, skipping those two chains, and the first two back bumps on the body, we will single crochet in six. One, two, 
two, three, four, five, and the sixth one is in the back of that stitch in the double crochet. And then slip stitch in at the top of the double crochet. <clears throat> and that finishes our second cut. Okay, and I'll switch back to the other hook. Chain one, skip one, back loop only single crochet in that front post treble. Chain one, we'll skip this last double crochet before the corner. And then we'll work the corner of single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Then working down the short side, we're going to chain one, skip one stitch, single crochet in the next two, chain three, skip three stitches, and repeat single crochet in the next two, chain three, skip three. So we've done the repeat twice. We want to do that a total of nine times. Two single crochet, chain three, skip three, nine times. We'll single crochet in these next three stitches, which is the halfway part of the short side. Then we'll chain three, skip three, single crochet in two, We'll do that nine times. Chain three, skip three, single crochet in two. That's twice. We want to do that seven more times. So there's my halfway mark. I've done chain three, skip three, single crochet in two, nine times. And I'm close to that next corner. We'll chain one, skip this last stitch before the corner, ready to work the corner stitches again, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and repeat all along the long side and short side again. So you can go ahead and work that now on the other sides. And again, joining to our starting stitch and fastening off at the end of this round. So I've changed back to the dark color for this same round, so don't be confused by that. I showed you in the lighter color and then just switched it out for my dark color. Round 86, we're using color A. We are going to be working only into round 84, so that's my dark blue color. Not working into 85, but working in front of 85. We want to start in the double crochet that's just past the corner. And we'll single crochet in this double crochet. And we want to place a back loop only single crochet in that front post treble. We want to place it before the single crochet that we put in that same stitch last round. Chain four. And we'll skip four stitches. And again, back loop only single crochet in that same front post treble beside the single crochet that we placed there last round. So in front or before that single crochet. We want to pull the cat through this chain four. We'll skip two double crochet 
And then in the next stitch, we're going to start our third cat. So we're going to single crochet in that double crochet. I'm going to switch to my bigger hook again. Chain 15. Cat 3 is worked the same way as we worked Cat 2 in last round. So you can go back and see how we worked cat number two and work that right now for cat number three. So this is what cat three then looks like. So chain one, I'm gonna switch back to my smaller hook. Skip a double crochet, back loop only single in that same front post stitch before the single crochet that was there from last round. Chain four. Skip four. Single crochet in that next stitch. Chain four. Skip four. Back loop only, single crochet in that next stitch. Again, being careful to work in front of last round and placing the single crochet before the one that's there. So we do the back loop only single, chain four. We want to do that four times. So I've got one, two, three, chain four. And then back loop only single in this next front post stitch, just past the kitten one. And again, we want to pull that kitten through to the front. Chain two, skip two. Then we're going to start the first kitten of this round. So we single crochet in that next stitch. This has worked the same as kitten one from last round, so you can go back and work that kitten now. So here we can see our kitten three beside kitten one of last round. So we'll chain one. Again, I'll switch back to my smaller hook. Skip the next double crochet, work that front or that back loop single crochet in the front post treble before the stitch there from last round. Chain two, skip two, and then we're going to work kitten number four. So that starts with the single crochet in that next stitch. Switch back to my big hoop, my bigger hook. And now we're going to work our kitten four, which has worked the same as kitten two from last round. So go ahead and work kitten two now. And kitten two is over here. So we'll chain one, switch back to the smaller hook, skip one double crochet, back loop only single, in that front post stitch working in front of the single crochet and the chain from round 85. Chain four, skip four double crochet, back loop only single in that next front post stitch and then we want to pull kitten two through. We want to place a half double crochet in this next double crochet. 
chain two, skip the two half double crochet, half double crochet in this next double, chain one, skip the front post treble. And we'll repeat that four more times. So that's a half double crochet. After we skip that treble, half double crochet in the next double, chain two, skip the two half double crochet, half double crochet in that next double, chain two, or sorry, chain one, and skip the front post treble. So I've done two repeats. You can do that three more times. So you can think about this as skipping the two double crochet on round 84, which are those half double crochets of 85 I worked into. So I've done those five repeats. We want to skip that front post treble. We're gonna single crochet in that next stitch which is a single crochet. Chain two, skip these next two stitches. We'll do that 31 times. So single crochet in the next stitch, chain two, skip two. So we've done that twice. Single crochet in the next stitch, chain two, skip two, that's three times. We wanna do that a total of 31 times. So after these 31 repeats, we should be just at that last spread popcorn. We're skipping these two singles. We want to place a single crochet in that front post double, chain one, We will not skip a stitch. We want to place a half double crochet in this next stitch. Chain two, skip two, half double crochet in the next stitch, skip chain one, then skip that front post treble. We'll do that four times half double crochet in the next stitch, chain two, skip two, half double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip one. So that's two repeats. You do that two more times. So I have the four repeats. We want to, we're skipping that front post treble, half double crochet in the next, chain two, skip two, half double crochet in the next right before that next kitten. We want to place a back loop only single crochet in that same front post treble that the back loop single from last round is in. Chain four, skip four, back loop only single crochet in that next front post double before the single that's there. And we'll pull that kitten through to the front. Chain two, skip two, and then we're ready to work kitten three. So single crochet in that next. Remember kitten three is the same as kitten one. So you can go and work that right now. Kitten three, chain one. Skip the next double crochet. 
work that back loop single in that next front post treble. Chain two, skip two, single crochet in the next, which is the start of the repeated kitten four. So you can go ahead and work kitten four now. So our second kitten four. We'll chain one. Skip the double crochet, work that back loop only, single, chain four, skip four, make that back loop single in that next front post treble, and pull kitten two to the front. Chain four, skip four, make that back loop only single, We'll do that three times. So chain four, skip four, back loop only single, one more time, chain four, back loop only single, chain two, Skip the next two double crochet, and then we'll start cat four in this next space, which is the same as cat two. And here we have cat four. We'll chain one, again, switch to the other hook. Skip this next double crochet, work that back loop single, chain four, skip four, back loop single crochet in that front post treble, and pull cat two to the front. And then we want to place a single crochet in this last double crochet of round 84. Chain four. And we're skipping over the corner of last round. So that single crochet, chain two single crochet, we're going to skip and then ready to work the short side. So we want to single crochet in this next single crochet of still round 84. So that's skipped single crochet, working in front of 85. Chain two, skip two, single crochet in the next single crochet, chain one, skip the front post half, and we'll do that nine times. So it's single crochet in the next, chain two, skip two, single crochet in the next, chain one, skip the front post stitch. So we've done two repeats. You wanna do that a total of nine times. So I've worked those nine repeats. We want to skip that front post stitch single in that next single. Chain three, 
we'll skip those three single crochet single in the next single of round 84 chain one skip the front post stitch single crochet in the next chain two skip two single crochet in the next and we'll do that nine times so it's chain one skip the front post stitch single crochet in the next chain two skip two single crochet in the next you can go ahead and work that seven more times so those nine repeats then should take us into that last single crochet before the corner we'll chain four skip the corner stitches a single crochet chain two single crochet and then single crochet in the corner chain two space of round 84. And then you're ready to repeat around the next long side and short side. So you can go ahead and do that, joining to our starting stitch and fastening off at the end of this round. So what we're going to do is go back to where we have the four kittens in a row. We want to place their tails down and secure them. We'll leave the cat tails for now. But for the kittens, we want to secure their tails down. So I've gone ahead and marked the stitches where I'm going to secure them. And you'll find this in the written pattern as well. So you can see my pink stitches here on the third stitch before that pink one, just under that first kitten of the set of four. I'm going to curl my tail down and connect to that. Then I've also marked the stitches on either side of this three together by the hanging flower under the second and third kitten of this group. And then just past my last pink row, the second stitch for the fourth marker. So taking color E, we want to thread it through a blunt needle. We want to insert from the back and make sure that the needle goes through the tip of that kitten's tail the needle goes through the loops of that stitch and we're just going to use this one little stitch to secure the tails Now, what we're going to do, instead of stretching our yarn across the back, I'm just going to thread, take my needle, and sort of pick up a back loop of the stitches. Until I've worked my way over to where I see my next marker. And again, insert through there, making sure I go through. So you wanna fold it down the way you wanna see it. Go through the tip of that tail. Then insert through the loops of that stitch to secure the tail. Okay. So you'll do the same way for each of the remaining two cats on this group of four. Just thread your yarn through the stitches at the back to get to the next kitten and secure all four of those tails. You want to do that for each group of four kittens all the way around the blanket.